Oh my god. Santa. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Come take a seat with Santa. <laughs> Oh my god, Santa. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Just give you a hug. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. I can't believe this right now. So how's it going? How's your year? It's been great. How are you? Are you being a good boy? For the most part. You taking care of your parents? Of course I am. How was your behavior this year? Do you think you're on the naughty or nice list? I think I'm on the nice list. Ho oh, ho, Alex. Ho oh, ho ho. Merry Christmas. Of course I know your name, Alex. Did I make it on the nice list or? You made it on the nice list. Okay. I seen those texts though. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want for Christmas? Uh, there's this new Jordans coming out. Oh, Jordans! Wow. Yeah. Tell me more. They have this really nice suede. Wait, you know which one I'm talking about, right? Of course I know. Wait, yeah. people are gonna stay on here until ten. Of course I know what you're talking about. Do you have? One? You wait right here. I think I might have just what you're looking for. Close your eyes. Open them. No. Are these the ones you're talking about? Yes, these are the ones. How'd you get them? I know a guy. They didn't come out yet. Are you serious? These are for you. Are these my size? Size 10, right? Got it. I know you. Oh my god. Thank you, Santa. Give me a hug. I appreciate it. Give me a hug. You take care of your family now. Y'all take care now. I still can't believe that. I'm never selling these. Santa? I hope this was worth twenty dollars. What do you mean? I saw what you did. What do you mean? You sold him the shoes I gave you. No, no, no. I nah, you did. You no. did. You did. Santa, wait. Uh, no, I. Those were a gift for you, and you just sold them twenty dollars. Those aren't Santa, even worth. I'm sorry. Those aren't worth twenty dollars. I'm sorry. They're worth thirty dollars. I'm sorry. Look, hey. What? I'm sorry. No, you're on the naughty list now. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys enjoyed that skit. That did take some time to make, so if you guys could go ahead and like this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Today we're gonna be taking a look at my most expensive Air Jordan in my collection in terms of retail price, and these happen to be the Cool Gray Suede 11s releasing December 23rd by Jordan Brand, and this shoe is straight Fire. Before we get started though, I want to give a huge shout out to the people over at Jordan, Taylor, 
and my audience right here because without you guys, this stuff wouldn't be possible. Jordan Brand actually ended up sending me these to review for you guys. So man, this is a blessing. I still can't believe that they're sending me sneakers to review for you guys. So let's talk about these Jordans real quick. This is a promo pair from Jordan, so I'm not going to show the tag. The tag is not the same as the retail pairs. I'm just gonna slide them out the box. And then we could just talk about these sneakers a little bit. I don't have to go too in detail with this because they are a very monotone shoe. In terms of the packaging, they included a dust bag. They did the Air Jordan template on the top that you usually see in the Jordans. Bam, look at these things right here. So first of all, let's talk about quality. If you want a quality sneaker, this is quality. They're using a very premium, nice gray suede that changes as your finger just rolls through it. It's super soft, feels extra luxurious, and I can't get enough of it. What I really dig from Jordan Brand is how they're starting to switch up the materials on their shoe. This used to be all patent leather on most of the Jordan 11. Some of them have snake skin, but I don't think I've ever seen gray suede on this part of a Jordan 11 before. So that's what I really like to see. Jordan Brand is stepping out of their usual area and they're incorporating very luxurious and high quality materials on their shoe. What I would like to see in the future is a lot of different colorways of the uppers with this same material. And also to give that luxurious look, they got rid of the Jordan Jumpman that's right here usually and they kept the tag but no lettering on it and they also took out the 23 that's usually on the back of the heel. Pretty cool move in my opinion. They kept the Jordan Jumpman of course because you know how iconic that thing is. But other than that, you don't really see any branding on this sneaker. As far as the outsoles go, they're very similar to the 7210 11s. They have that milky outsole and it also follows up to a white midsole right there. This has to be my favorite part of the shoe. They went with the pinnacle look with the diamond stitch and it's honestly a lot more comfortable when they do that. It's more of like a, a ribbed feeling that you get in your sneakers when you're walking so it's like a foot massage along with the high quality materials man. You just can't get enough of it. So that's about it on this sneaker. Very high quality $400 price point suggested retail price for these and I've seen them on eBay already selling for $700, $800. I'm not sure how easy these will be to get but if you guys have a chance to get it I would highly recommend it these things are straight flames let me know what you guys think about these in the comments section down below and if you guys aren't following me on Twitter or Instagram make sure to check me out boom Bay Area Shoehead is the Twitter and boom sneakerhead in the Bay is the Instagram that's where I'm gonna be posting pictures of this shoe right here that's about it let's keep it short and sweet Throw these on feet and I'll catch you guys next time. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Days. And now I got the show purpose the shoes and shows and show first with roll rage. So the same damn ass left. Always. Still gotta let him in, no break. Still gotta burn him in, no lacking. Still out of jams, nigga, no checks. No joy, we so tagging. I'm taking to the land with a lake made of sand in the milk. Don't pour in the honey, don't dance in the money ain't yours. That's the red pill. Got a blue and a handful of ass. I'm the new nitty, fucking nitty to hold me So I'ma tell the buyer what